Yes, wet hair. Here's the deal with that. When it's warm, I don't like to dry my hair. It's hot. The hair dryer is hot. I also don't like to spend time drying my hair. Even if I just dry it a little bit, that's a little bit of time I could have done something else. And the other thing is, this summer, soon, the pool opens in May, we're in May, I will be, hopefully, doing a lot of swimming. Just, you know, going in the pool, getting some exercise. That's really the reason I like to go in the pool. I just like to, sw I like to swim. And I'm not going to want to get out of the pool and then come into the apartment and get dried off and dry my hair every time I want to do a video. So, uh, I'm going to just have to get used to recording with wet hair and you're going to have to get used to seeing me like that. <laughs> we had a pool for 20 years at my house in Maine, and I absolutely love it. We got it the year that Derek was born, in 78, and just lived in my bathing suit with a cover-up, and just would go swimming, get out, go swimming, get out. Never would, like, dry myself off. Well, I mean, a little bit when I was on the deck, but I would just stay in my wet bathing suit, which would get my cover up wet. And we would just cover the furniture. All the furniture was covered because my mother was the same way. She was in and out of that pool all the time. So I'm going to do that here. I will have to drive to take uh, to go swimming. And I don't like that. But I have those pads that we had from my mother, the, the fabric ones that can be washed. Um, they're plastic on one side. So I'm going to put that in my car on all the seats. And in case, um, you know, Skylar and her girlfriend want to go swimming with me, then we can all just get in the car and not worry about getting the seats wet and stuff like that. So I have it all figured out. But that's not the reason I'm here. The reason I'm here is because I want to think of other stuff to do on this channel. And one thing I'm kind of passionate about, especially now, is a decluttering not hoarding, having things organized. I struggle with that. And uh, it was so incredibly painful for me to get rid of stuff when I had to declutter my entire home in Maine. Uh, I mean, th the upstairs was filled with things, a cedar chest with stuff that hadn't been looked at in years and stuff that had been in there since the 1940s. And um, it's still painful. So I want to talk about that and help people who need to declutter or don't even need to but would like to. And uh, just go through my experience with you. And uh, it, it, it's very, very painful. I don't think that will ever go away from me. And I created many, many regrets. And I tell you guys often, well, at least on my other channel, how I hate memories because I can find ways to regret everything from the past. Even a good memory will have regrets attached to it. And I have just learned that that's how I'm going to be living the rest of my life. I have no interest in having medication to change that because medication, for me, it's great for many people. For me, medication seems to cause other problems. So I don't, um, I just don't want to go there. So maybe by talking about it, I don't think it's really going to help me, but it will help me to keep in line with the decluttering and stuff. Because even here, I, I want to, you know, save stuff. <laughs> but I don't because I don't ever want to get back to where I was. And uh, it's, it's a daily struggle. Just today, I cut the leggings that I happen to be wearing shorter, and I've done that many times to all my leggings. And I used to always save the bottoms, thinking someday I'll find a use for these. Or I could start making Barbie doll clothes and make them leggings or make them a little black dress. And I thought, I can't. I can't be saving these. <laughs> I have saved so many things ridiculous things that were still very painful for me to toss. Not only painful to toss them because I had an attachment to them, but because I felt like I didn't do that justice. I didn't accomplish what I wanted to do with those things. 
<laughs> I'd like to start next week. This is a Wednesday when I'm talking to you, and I have a hard rule about um, if you go on a journey like that and you don't have a time constraint. Like when I was moving, I, I had to just do it as much as I could. But uh, before that, I had done projects like this, and, you know, I give myself two days that I don't have to do any of that and don't think about any of that. So five days a week, and it doesn't have to be Monday through Friday, but that's the routine that I have developed for myself. So I'd like to start, um, give it a shot anyway, um, something Monday through Friday, having a quick video here on Growing Up Crazy and, uh, you know, I'm talking very quick videos. I was going to do it on TikTok, but TikTok is not monetized at all for me. And this channel is, and it does pretty, pretty good. So I thought, even if it's just a two-minute video, I'd rather have it somewhere where I can earn a little bit of something than on TikTok where I can't. And also TikTok is harder for me in some ways because I'm not good at editing and, and stuff. It, it's time consuming, at least for me. And even though I have to edit here, while I'm talking, I don't have to worry about, oh, how am I gonna cut that part out on TikTok? So I tend to start over and over and over again. And uh, it, it just makes it difficult. And why on this channel? Because I, you know, fully believe that any issues we have with things like decluttering, hoarding, stuff like that, emotional attachments to things, that all has to do with our past, whether it's all the way from childhood or something that happened in your adult life. But, um, you know, we hoard for a reason. It look, look at my hand. It's all making me very nervous. I have not been hoarding, but... You know, I guess in a little way I have been. I probably have too many plastic bottles already that, oh, um, you know, if I make Skylar and Derek fruit drinks or something when they travel to Nashville, they can just throw them away. But then I find myself, you know, giving them those drinks and saying, C -c -c can you bring these back? <laughs> Stuff like that. I haven't. Uh, I wanted to say those things, but actually what I say is, you don't have to bring these back because I want them to throw them away so I don't hoard them. And, you know, it's just... But, uh, okay. It's hard for me to get rid of a plastic bottle. I, it's hard for me to throw away an empty toilet paper roll. I, uh, it's a good thing that gum doesn't still come with the paper wrapper around the, the, the metal part. <laughs> I always call it you know, the, the silver little foil. There, that's what it's called. Um, because I would save every, every, uh, gum wrapper there is. <sighs> Can I survive this? Uh, yeah, so that's why I'm doing it on this channel, because this channel, it's not just about narcissism. I want it to be about issues. Just issues! And I think we all have some. So hopefully, you will like this series, and... I actually am dabbling, dabbling with the idea, and I, I have to spend the whole weekend really thinking about that, with opening up comments for these kind of videos because it's very important that people get validated and, uh, you know, can have someone say to them, wow, that was great, you did great or if they're hurting because they regret throwing something away or whatever, whatever we're talking about, somebody can say, I get that, you know? But the thing is, is that I would be very fussy with the comments because if somebody says, oh, I did this and I'm miserable, I don't want people to say anything like, oh, well, do this instead or try this or, you know, or." Duh, I certainly don't want people saying things like, get over it, or it was just a gum wrapper, you know. So, if I have comments on for those videos, they would go to review. And I want you to understand what review is. If someone leaves a comment, and it goes to review on my end, 
they'll still see their comment on their end. So they think, oh, now my comment is out there. And I'm saying this specifically to kind of deflate the excitement for trolls and haters. No one else sees your comment if it goes to review for me. I will never let comments go out live. And that's another reason I didn't want to do it on TikTok. Because I would have to be babysitting. This way I don't have to babysit. So if somebody says something that I feel is not appropriate for someone dealing with issues, and I will be very, very fussy, I will see it when I have time to go through and review the comments. That person, though, will always see their comment and think, ha, 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 I got away with it. Uh, log out of YouTube and go in and see it as just a regular person, not, not on your own account, and you will see that it's not there. No one else will see the comment. Only the person who posted it. Once I, uh, you know, let it go live, then everybody else will see it. And if I delete it, then the person who left it, even though they're logged in, they won't see it anymore. So they'll know it was deleted. And not only would I delete the comment, but I would block that person from commenting again. Okay? And uh, why am I going to be really, really strict about the type of comments? Because A, one, I don't care for general chit-chat. I'm not here for that. And two, I'm very protective over people who say something personal and not being attacked or dismissed. Dismissing someone to me is a crime. You should be punished. <laughs> so, um... I could at least try that, right? And if I find it's just too much for me to keep up with, well, then I would just have to not let comments in at all. Uh, but I do think it would be helpful for people. I just don't want, you know, another part-time job dealing with all that. I think I want to do this. I really do. And it would give me uh, content for this channel that I really feel would be extremely helpful for some, just some. And maybe people who have no issues with that would be curious as to what kind of issues people have. Maybe they know someone who has a hard time with these things and it will help teach them like maybe what to say to them or not to say. So I'm excited. I just hope that, that we can do this because it's going to help me because I'm going to come up with little things that we need to do. Not every single day, you know, but I just would like to try different things and we'll just see how it goes, okay? I hope that you, um, you know, come back and see that series. And if you're not even subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe and uh, we'll see what we can do.